Okay. So, as you can see here, this is our 405 course on advanced particle physics. Okay. And I will be teaching the strong interaction part in this course. And uh, this very particular sub part contains three very different but interesting topics. The first one is static quark model. <coughs> okay, where we will consider the fact that there is no interaction between the quarks and even if there is no interaction, how can we explain the various properties of the composite particles which the quarks are made up of? We will discuss these things in detail in this part. But for that, we will require a very detailed knowledge on group theory. So I have circled it over here. So this will be a prerequisite for you. I will give you some of the materials, but you will be required to get some little bit knowledge on group theory so that we will be able to continue this okay this is required next part is the basic ideas about quantum field theory and quantum chromodynamics now you are very well familiar with quantum mechanics nowadays even in class 12 we have got somewhat quantum mechanics right students also know about that but as you know or uh, you may not know that Specifically, there are many scenarios where single particle quantum mechanics fail to explain physical phenomena. And there we are required to investigate such physical phenomena. Something is there, so there must be some explanation behind it, right? So, after that, as an improvement of single particle quantum mechanics, the quantum field theory was you can say it was uh, invented in a way and very nicely right now in this world there are very few physical phenomena which QFT is still unable to explain but most of them it can explain so this is a very wonderful theory and we will talk about it in very much details in our course and an extension of QFT is quantum chromodynamics where we will be talking about this field theoretical concept as applied to these quarks. Okay. How things change? Because you see, quarks they interact by strong interaction, right? Not by weak interaction, not by electromagnetic, not by gravitational interaction. They interact by strong interaction. And when we apply this quantum field theory to this strong interaction, we have this new theory of quantum chromodynamics. This we will discuss somewhat and basically our life will be made simple by using Lagrangian formalism. Okay, so just keep this in mind. This is what we will do. And the third part of our syllabus is basically dynamic quark model where we will basically investigate the structure of hadron itself. Now whenever we say investigation, this means we will just probe, right? We will do a scattering sort of experiment just like Rutherford experiment and in order to probe deeper and deeper we need lower or high energy projectile higher energy projectile so that the deep probing wavelength is lower right so that it can see more and more of the target okay and so this is how so basically we will be discussing about high energy scattering and here it is prerequisite that you must have some idea about the basic relativistic kinematics. You can check in any book, graduation, you have done this, okay. I am asking you to at least recap these two very concepts, group theory and relativistic kinematics for this course. 